Arizona's Real Rock, 98K, UPD, and it is Green Day. Hello, everyone. It's me, Fitz. Very excited to have Chester and Ryan from Dead by Sunrise here in the studio. How are you guys today? Good. How are you? I'm well. How, how, how are you? Last time we talked, you were trying to get your, your carpets dried. You know what's really funny is I was actually, my carpets were being cleaned again today. How, how weird is that? You have I'm no not even joking. I have, I have four dogs who constantly I think Press is only scheduled my on carpet cleaning days. <laughs> right. So get out of the house. Yeah, it's, it's totally annoying. Good Do- job, guys. Do- doggy daycare, Chester. They can teach you how to keep your dogs. They can potty train your dogs for you, man. You know, it's, it's more, I think it's more the fact that I have family members that bring their stray dogs over who pee in my house. And then my dogs feel like they have to pee on top of the pee to make sure that they everyone else knows that it's their house. Right. You know what I mean? It's, it's like annoying. Little chemical weapons factories going around. <laughs> <laughs> right. Exactly. Like little gang fights that have all got little bandanas on, <laughs> peeing on stuff, tagging their territory. <laughs> it's good to have you guys in. Ryan, how are you today? Everything good Fantastic. With you? Yeah. Yeah. I'm uh, uh, you know home for a few days after uh, we just did a, a world tour yep. uh, around the world. For me, in 11 days, 15 flights in 11 days, and you guys were out there a little longer, right? With like yeah, we were out there for like five weeks, and uh, and uh, it was pretty crazy, like going from here to to Europe and doing a bunch of shows there, and then going from Europe to Asia, and then back here. It was the worst idea we've ever had because it <laughs> literally, like, j- you think jet lag, you know, when you go from New York to here is like uh-huh. people complain about that. Going around the world and coming back here, it was it was it was literally it took like. I think you're still oh, suffering yeah. from it. Oh, yeah. And uh, it took me like four days to not feel like I was like my head was going to explode. Four <laughs> days, the dogs are peeing nonstop, the carpets have been destroyed. You're never going on tour again, are you? Nope, I'm, I just no, I quit. I'm I'm hanging it up. That's what I'm here to announce. I retire. <laughs> so, no, okay, so, okay, if you have to travel all over the world with the various bands in the middle of the swine flu, did you get like 18 different confusing briefings on H1N1, or was oh. it just like, don't touch anybody? In, in Europe, it's kind of like here. They just like have like, you know, pieces of paper stuck to the wall, and that's about it. <laughs> right. in, in Asia, it's like everywhere you go, they have like these like thermal detectors to see if you you have a to see if you have a fever so they like as people are walking in they they can see who's hot and they can grab them and then swab them and then they quarantine them for however long Holy and they smokes. question you it's as to where you've been as to what you've done and they've got people walking around in masks and it's like H1N1 everywhere and you're just like I I'm actually more scared of what's going on here than I am of actually catching <laughs> the wow. virus because apparently from the research I've done you have to actually be already really sick in order to die from it right yeah, so if yes. you're like if you're like already dying from like pneumonia and you get it you're probably gonna die yeah, you know what i mean so I, I otherwise it's just like the flu right you know, from what i've heard so I'm, I'm i was actually less scared of that and more frightened of being quarantined right because what if their scanners are broken well we can't take their temperature they start doing it manually they're hitting with the oil yeah they bring Check the doctor jelly fingers <laughs> Bad scene. <laughs> See, Chester, here's the thing, man. It's like you, obviously, both of you guys have been around the world, and you seem to be very reasonable about the H1N1. I've been trying to start a media panic about H1N1 for, for <laughs> since it came out. I'm like, we are all going to die. Right. And you're not helping. I Say think, something well, inflammatory, man. I think, I, think that, I think that what's not working for you is the whole bird flu thing and the, and the SARS thing. It, they already panned everyone, and, and nothing happens. So they're like, <laughs> right. people are just like, yeah, okay, whatever. You know, they're, they're actually probably more frightened. You should be like, herpes is real. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> right. And by the way, right. if you have herpes, the only way to get rid of it is by giving it to somebody else. Right, exactly. <laughs> it's, like, it's, like, it's like a bad penny. You just got to pass it along. It's Arizona's Real Rock, 98 KUPD. I have Chester and Ryan from uh, Dead by Sunrise. And you know, Chester, when you and I talked about uh, Dead by Sunrise a uh, couple weeks, months ago now, when the carpets were first being undestroyed, you said it didn't sound like Lincoln Park. And congratulations, it doesn't sound like Lincoln Park. With your voice in there, it's obviously very you. But the new song really, really rocks. It is great. When is the album going to be done? When will be hear more of that we're actually done it's it's finished uh it's, it it's it's totally finished it's coming out october 13th nice um and uh you know i think uh it's actually doing pretty good we just went on pre-sale yesterday i think or the day before yesterday mm-hmm. and uh so people can go on there and pre-order the on itunes and pre-order the album and uh you get a, a track immediately from the from the record called fire that gets uh, downloaded automatically oh right on. if you so- order it if you pre-order it now you can get a tr- another track cool um and uh so you know things are looking pretty good with the, with the with everybody seems that here's the record seems to like it you yeah. know and uh, you know it's it's got a mix it's it's got this kind of grungy dirty thing going mm-hmm. on there's a little bit of punk going on in there but it's also got you know some some really nice melodic uh, mid tempo songs too that I think uh, it, it gives it kind of like a good uh, you know ebb and flow that you know it's it's not just all 
punch you in the face, and it's not too much. Uh, it's not too much of the soft stuff either. Cool, cool. I'm really looking forward to hearing more uh, tracks of it. Ryan, what's your favorite song off the album? <sighs> I know, I pick think, your baby. Uh, I know, I think, pick, pick one. I think um, "Inside of Me" is a song that, uh, of course, no one's heard it, but uh, you know, I think it's uh, I think it actually could be. A, have you heard the record? No, I'm just I was playing. Yeah, you know, it's heard, but it's fantastic. Yeah, no, it's yeah. amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. Uh, I mean, honestly, the best I think, thing you've never I, heard. I think it could be a single, um, right. But uh, it's one of my favorite songs. It's just it's just like a it's like two and a half minutes long, and it just gets on it, and this chorus just delivers, and it's it's sort of got a punk feel to it. It's yeah. it's just everything I love about a great. You know, ripping, awesome song with tons of melody cool, and, cool. and a catchy, you know, guitar riff. Nice. It just sounds like you can pick up a guitar and start playing it. And it's just really cool. Yeah. Maybe and because you because could. I wrote the song, it is like anybody could pick it up and play it. Because I'm not a good guitar player. I can't player. do it. I can't do it. <laughs> and because no, actually, of that, I don't have to work it's, there. It's, it's actually kind of cool. Because I, I have two of the best guitar players ever in, right. in the band, and so it's really easy for them to learn how to play the song. But, <laughs> nice. but yeah, it, it, it's a pretty. It's a, that's a pretty rocking song. I, I personally like one of my favorites is Condemned. It's kind of mm -hmm. a. It's that's a pretty pretty. I like song Condemned too. a lot too. Um, it's a little different. It's it's really dark and really heavy and, and uh, the lyrics are, are pretty nasty you know so cool. it's, it's good Looking see inside of, inside of me has a whoa part oh, in the chorus right, right, and right, right. that is good whenever anyone <laughs> goes whoa it goes into a chorus you know it's on you just want to put on your checkered <laughs> bands more than once we do it like four times per chorus <laughs> so there's lots of whoa and that makes me really happy <laughs> that is awesome <laughs> you it sounds like a party's going on you know just like I mean? yeah, yeah. Good Party times. in your ear, <laughs> which is like an infection. <laughs> right. And in Asia, they'll put you through yeah, a scanner to see if you've got it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you get quarantined after you have to listen to it. Oh, that is awesome. It's Arizona's Real Rock 98 KUPD. So I have uh, these people, obviously, these people that I said when you guys were coming in, I said, let's get some people in to ask some questions. And it turns out that, Chess, this is Derek Streeter, your, your high school math teacher? Yeah, I hope this makes me sound tall. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I've been a math teacher at Greenway High School, which was one of the many schools that Chester attended for a while, and uh, this is very exciting for me. Uh, it's pretty exciting that he comes down and does, does this for us, but but I had a couple of questions for him. Um, you also were the math teacher of Kyle from Digital Summer. Right, yes. And I, I think Kyle Ashley Winter's also nice was, and, uh, it's like a Greenway High School reunion in here. Anthony he he actually um, spent more time with me in Saturday was, detention. Yes. <laughs> right. Saturday Breakfast school. club style. We were regulars in Saturday So school, if you uh, want your children to become guys, rock stars, put them... Greenway to High your school. math class. There is a sti sti sure statistically is. high probability. <laughs> so, yeah. so, oh, Derek, was, was Chester a good student? Um, you know, he had some loves, and, and that brings me to one of the questions. Right. Nice segue, Fitz. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that is, uh, Ass radio <laughs> disc jockey. You guys may not realize it, um, but when Chester was, was in school, he was uh, he was quite the actor. Um, looking at his transcript, which I brought with me, but we won't discuss that. I would never uh, have guessed he, that. Uh, he did well in his acting classes, showed an interest early on, was in there early. And so my question, I guess, for you, Chester, is um, I saw the painting. He did a wonderful painting, and uh, so he shows creativity on many different levels. Um, and you've done a, a lot of music, and you're transition, transitioning into your new thing. Um, you ever thought about doing any movies? I know you had that cameo in Crank. Um, yeah. How would acting work out for you? You know, um, I haven't done it for a really long time, and uh, you know, I, I, the people that are that are that take it seriously, you know, um, I would if I ever do a movie, I want to make sure that I get kind of up to speed. But uh, um, I actually just got offered a role uh, in a in a new in a horror movie that's going to be made next year, and. Uh, you know, they, the 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 director basically. I don't want to say just yet because I haven't said yes. I'm going to do it or not. But right, right. Uh, but uh, it's it's one of the best horror uh, you know uh, movies. Oh, uh, Lepre ever. Leprechaun Five, right? It's going to be Leprechaun, <laughs> Leprechaun <laughs> Five. I knew it. Uh, and then and then I'm also going to do Pumpkinhead. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> uh, but, uh, but uh, it, it's you know. Um, it, there are movies that I really love, and uh, he said, you know, you can do anything is just do a cameo, or we can, like, write you into the script, and we can Holy make smokes, you as big wow. as, it, however big you want to be in the movie. And I was like, wow, that's really nice of you. Um, so I don't know. You know, I think I, I love doing that. It was always a lot of fun to be in theater. I really, I really, really enjoyed that class. Um, that was the one class I got, like, an A in. <laughs> and then everything else I pretty much ditched, you know, all the time. It was, uh,
It's like we have a show coming up with the end of Summer Scorcher. You know, we pay in beer if you want to play it. I mean, you just, <laughs> I mean, you guys can just, you know. Yeah, <laughs> this is great. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll put you in a parking lot for a few minutes before the show if you want to do it. I mean, I don't want to say anything, but, you know, you're looking for some small shows. We will put you in a parking can lot. Can we sell the beer for money? You, you could sell the beer for money. Yeah. Rocking in Glendale style. You just style. pay us in beer, and we will open a concession the, stand. Okay, yeah. And, uh, and every 15 minutes, we'll play a song. Oh, my God. <laughs> Acoustically. That would uh, be so badass. The entrepreneur comes out, so they have to buy a, a, a certain, you know, set, set amount of you know, like twenty, thirty thousand dollars worth of beer before we play a song. Right, exactly. Right, right. Yeah, that'll work. I'm, I'm totally down to that. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Awesome. All right, so we'll get you a beer, uh, a beer tent, and an acoustic guitar, and it'll be awesome at the end of Summer Scorcher for you guys. Be rich. <laughs> Nice. Nice. Okay. Okay. So we're out. <laughs> we'll only play Phoenix from here on out. It'll be so cool. I'll come out and visit your family and hang with you. We'll play a show and get rich. That's <laughs> Ryan. You are a genius. Thank you. It's Arizona's Real Rock 98 KUPD. Ryan and Chester from Dead by Sunrise. The CD is going to be in stores on October 13th. If you go to iTunes right now, you can uh, pre-order the uh, pre-order the album and get a song off of what's it called? It's not Fire. Fire is the uh, name of the song. Who is, as you just said, you know, you're here. Ryan, you're here. Who are the other dudes in the band? Because you said people might not know. Um, we are, uh, well, it's it's Amir and I from Orgy. Yeah. And um, the rest of the band is in another band called Julian K, which is a, sort of a side project that we did after Orgy. Uh -huh. And uh, Chester helped uh, produce Julian K and helped us write and basically helped me become a singer over the last couple of years. Uh -huh. And uh, it kind of segued into us. He didn't us. need much help. Yeah, oh, I totally needed help. <laughs> it's kind of cool when you have one of the best singers in the world, probably, you know, possibly my favorite singer, um, help me out, and who also happens to be, you know, my best friend. Um, you know, create this new project, which is really cool, yeah. kind of Depeche Mode style, heavy, dark uh -huh. stuff, and uh, we we have been touring that over the last uh, year, and yeah. may do we, a little bit of playing. We actually have some secret that. weapons that we've kind of been holding on to for a long time. Uh, Fu uh, plays all the all the keys and and uh, and runs all the synths and stuff for us while we're while we're performing live. He actually is more. He's also always been a producer and more of an engineer. Mm -hmm. So he's never really been on the stage and, and performing. Yeah, yeah. He's always back in the back in the back. You know, in the shadows, kind of hanging out. He's a genius though, and. Uh, and then we have Brandon. Uh, Brandon has been hanging around Orgy since he was like 16. Sure. He used uh, to be our assistant in Orgy. He's yeah, this, this young guy who actually grew up to be tall and cool looking. Right. And can sing better than me. And he's really talented and he can do whatever. You know, it's like, oh, you're going to be the bass player. He's like, oh, I guess I'm going to learn how to play bass and, and <laughs> sing at the same time. One of those like, savants yeah. who's just yeah. awesome at everything. Now you can say you're, you're playing piano now. And he'll walk up and start playing piano chords. Yeah. And, just like, and then you're like, and get us a sandwich and change the strings on the guitar. And he's like, no problem. <laughs> yes. Man. Dude, you're amazing. He's Really, no, he's really a great, great, talented guy and a super, super good, cool guy. And then we have, you know, uh, one of the best drummers I've ever seen. Uh, his name is Elias, and uh, he lives uh, in he Phoenix. Lives, he lives out yeah. here, and mm -hmm. uh, he is shredder. Like, there's, he's uh, a he, monster. He can, he can play he's as good as monster. as good as anybody. Oh, cool. And uh, he, you know, he he crushes the drums, and he's a he's a good guy too. And so, um, you know, I kind of. Luckily, you know, with with Ryan and Amir, um, I've known them for a very long time, for ten years now, and, and we've yeah, all been very close. And so, when I was playing my songs at home, you know, Ryan would hear them, or Amir would hear them, and be like, you know, what are you doing? And, and Ryan really gave me the push I needed to kind of, you know, take the songs to Lincoln Park, and you know, they weren't Lincoln Park songs, so it was like the we they liked the songs, but it, you know, when when they're not Lincoln Park songs, it's, right, right. you don't want to mm -hmm. force something, and that's something yeah. we've learned. Uh, but they're still really good, and so. Um, you know, Ryan and Mira, I, I asked them to help me produce a, a solo album. And it just, over time, you know, with their input on the songs and became a band. And, and that's how that's how we kind of formed. I, mean, that I, just, is awesome. I just I just told Julian K, guys, you're in my band, pretty much. You're like, you, 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 and you, let's go. Let's go do something rocking. We're going to yeah. be in a parking lot in Glendale selling beer and songs. Exactly. That's we, we always knew. Uh, these guys recorded their first record in the same studio that Orgy was recording its second record in. Oh, really? And, and that's how Chester and I met. And we okay. became friends in like a day. Right, right. And, and very quickly, I, I remember we would talk about, we should do something. Yeah. We should do something. It only took ten years. Ten years later, <laughs> but uh, I'm 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 thrilled because I think we created an, an amazing record, and I think it's gonna I think it's gonna surprise a lot of people at how real this is. It's not just a side project. It's yeah, a yeah. really really convincing and incredible piece of work. I, and I there's agree. a lot of good songs on it. Yeah, I from think, the uh, from, from the one song I heard, I'm like, you know, because as I said to Chester when I did an interview with him, I'm all, you know, whatever the singer of a big band does, another band is like, sure. how, it just usually just sounds like the big band. Sure. And sure. Dead by Sunrise does it. It this sounds. 
Jones. Like it's own band. Yeah, he came. I mean, he yeah, he's done an incredible job. So I'm 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 super excited. Arizona's Real Rock 98 KUPD. Ryan and Chester from Dead by Sunrise here, and we have Lindsay. Lindsay, Hi. big fan. Yes. So you were dying to come down. How are you today? I'm I'm fantastic. I'm excited. I'm really excited to be here. Your last name isn't Big Fan, is it? No. Okay. Lindsay Big Fan. <laughs> definitely not. Because that's what I thought. <laughs> well, first off, definitely Chester. Big fan of you. Big fan of Lincoln Park. I love it. I've been a fan since you guys first started. Thank you. Um, my initial question. I have so many things that I'd want, like to say, but my first, my initial question is: um, I know um, back a couple years ago, Mike got started with Fort Minor, and that was his side project. Right. And how I don't know how his ideas came around for that, but um, what was your initial idea to go ahead and get started with Dead by Sunrise? What um, what made you decide that you want to go ahead and do your own side project? Well, uh, with Mike, I think Mike, you know, Mike really wanted to make a hip hop record, right? Because you know that's that's one of his big passions is hip hop, and it's it's pretty obvious. Um, and, you know, that's not going to happen with Linkin Park. He's, we're not going to make a strictly hip-hop record. Um, you know, so uh, that was one way of hit for him to get that out there. Uh, and, uh, you know, also help, help push uh, his friends in, in store and Styles of Beyond to, you know, kind of get them out in, in, in the public eye a little bit. Um, with, with Dead by Sunrise, it really came down to the fact that I had this, this batch of songs that, you know, I would play you know, at home because I had nowhere else to play them and I had taken a couple of them to the Lincoln Park guys and it was like, yeah, this is a great song. I just don't know what we can do with it because it's so different from what we were doing. Um, and that at the time makes sense, but now I think it doesn't make much sense because we're so in a different place now than we were when I started writing these songs, you know, in 2005. Right. So, um, you know, it really came down to the fact that I just felt like these songs, even though they weren't Lincoln Park style songs, that they were still good enough and they kind of deserved to be heard and so that's when I went and asked Ryan and Amir to help me do this stuff and uh, and um, that's kind of how it started I mean we were we, Lincoln Park was taking a really long time uh, off because we had we had just finished touring New York we had toured for four years you know uh, and we were tired and so I knew we were taking time and we were fighting with our record company at the time you know and we worked all that stuff out but in the meantime I was just sitting around drinking and that, and so you know, I had to do something else with my time besides just sit around love. and drink. <laughs> right, so right. I, I, started, I, I started writing songs, and the, and this is the kind of music that I write uh, on my own. And so, uh, it it has a much grungier, kind of dirtier feel. Uh, um, and and you know, with with the help of, of Ryan and Amir, um, with their uh, pop and kind of more pop electronic alternative sensibility, we kind of pushed all that stuff together and, and created the sound. Right. And uh, and and that's how it all started. Nice. Yeah. That is awesome. You know what? Um, real pleasure. You guys uh, had time to come in and do. It. I know. You Time to come in today. I know you guys have been doing a lot of media, so thank you for taking time out. That's really cool to see you. Yeah, no problem, dude. Is there anything else that people need to know about what's going on with either of you, any of your bands, your lives, your universe, or anything? Because, you know. Well, Julian Case has had a couple uh, uh, free downloads in the last week yeah. or so. Yeah, on, so, uh, on Beatport and a couple of remixes and so on and so forth. It's something cool. we're, we're obviously focusing and shifting into total Dead by Sunrise mode right, because right. I think this is going to be a really. Well, we're. We're in love with what we did. It's right, no right. more babies, yeah. but um, that'll be something that we also do um, when when there, we're available. Say, say if there's a, a, a day or two off on a DBS tour, we mm -hmm. considered playing a, a Julian K show, um, um, releasing more tracks as we record them, so on and so forth. But yeah, really, eventually we're, we're just going to have so a... many bands together. <laughs> that we're just going right. to we're going to put together like a festival show, and it's just going to be <laughs> eight hours of entire. us right. playing diff yeah. just different styles of music. We we actually may even do orgy um, if there's if there's a you know a month off um, next year. That would be awesome. So you know just like a, just just touring, maybe at one new song and. Just, just because it's cool. Because orgy is awesome. Orgy is awesome. Yeah, and, you know, so. your band is good. Yeah, you know? <laughs> your band for is real. Good. But obviously, the focus right now is, um, you know, Julian K just had a run touring yeah, and, yeah. and chart. You know, had some had some uh, uh, some songs chart, and we're, we're thrilled. Cool. But uh, this is going to be. We work really hard on this. Yeah, we've been we working really, really hard, really long on, on it. So. Cool. Well, you know what? Thanks for coming in, Chester. Seriously, Doggy Daycare Petco. They have classes. You're a genius. <laughs> You're a genius. <laughs> they can help you. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell my wife you said that, and she'll go, yeah, yeah, it's a great idea, and then nothing will happen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love you, oh, no, you're the best. My phone's going to start blowing up. You're the best, up. babe. <laughs> it's Arizona's Real Rock, 98K. <laughs>